everyone, it's Tiara. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be doing two reviews and they are on the Colourpop Yes Please Eyeshadow Palette and the Colourpop No Filter Concealer. So for both of them, I'll be doing a like demo and I'll be sharing with you my thoughts and of course, I'll be sharing with you guys the swatches of these items. I'm going to start by sharing with you guys more about the Yes Please Palette and then I'm going to do a quick one for the No Filter Concealer and we'll end off the video with a um, short tutorial on you know using this eyeshadow palette so if you want to see more and know more about the Colourpop Yes Please palette just keep on watching I got this palette a couple of months ago and I was really excited to get my hands on it because I love the colour combo in it and there are a lot of like really pretty warm colours that I know I will get a use out of first and foremost this is how the packaging looks like this is the box it's like a really bright yellow and it just says yes please there are 12 shades in this eyeshadow palette and they retail at 16 USD and honestly just like me telling you this now it is so worth the $16 okay I'm just gonna say that like right up front because it's not a first impression I've tried it before I actually really enjoy this palette so this is how the palette looks like and it just says cute AF at the front which I think is really cute um, it has a ha 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 get it huh the packaging is actually white and this is the one thing that I don't really like about it it's because it's it will get dirty mine is already dirty as you, as you can tell there is not a mirror or there's no mirror in this eyeshadow palette um, and I understand why because it's like 16 bucks so you know you have to have some trade off somewhere right and these are the shades they are so pretty I cannot deal with them I just cannot Overall, the shades in this palette are quite pigmented and I am actually very impressed with them especially for the fact that they are only $16. It's a cardboard, um, cardboard packaging. I'm not really a big, I mean it's not a big deal to me. I think that this kind of palette is very easy to travel with because it's so slim and tiny. And at the back, you actually have all of the, the names of all the shades. So basically it just says that it's um, 12 by 0 0.85 grams. So each of these pens have 0 0.85 grams of product in it. When I look at here and I look at the picture at the back, this is bling but actually it's the reverse. So. So let's begin. The first shade is Full Zip and it's a matte cream shade. The texture of these are really creamy and oh god guys. Okay, it's not as soft as Innisfree but it's it's soft enough. Oh, oh that's just my mole. <laughs> Sorry. I love this cream shade for my brow bone. It's not so white that it goes too cool and too grey on my skin tone. But at the same time, it's not too like... um. It's pigmented enough such that it shows up on my skin so I really like it and it's very blendable as well. Next up is the shade Big Cocktail and Big Cocktail is uh, an orange shade and this is also matte. Um, another thing that I like about this eyeshadow palette is that the, more than half of the shades in this eyeshadow palette is matte which is something that I appreciate. I think that matte eyeshadow shades are really important especially if you want to build up the crease so I really like that this eyeshadow palette has a lot of matte shades. So there you go. Um, honestly, it has a little bit of crumbs but the crumbs is not chunky. The next shade over here is called Champs and this is another matte shade. Comparing Champs to um, Full Zip, Champs is slightly darker than Full Zip so it's a real nice um, transition shade if you have a fairer skin tone. And this is what it looks like. So on my hand or on my arm, the pigment actually just kind of uh, disappears into the colour of my arm because it's very similar-ish. It has a slightly peachy undertone. Next is the first shimmer of the row or of the palette that I'm swatching and this is in the shade Bling. Um, this shade is a very nice burgundy shade. And this is how it is. As you can see, the shimmers or rather it's not really a shimmer but it's kind of like a satin, it has a sheen to it. It's really nice when the light when the light hits it. I think that the pigmentation of the shimmer slash um, satin finishes are slightly better than the mattes. On the next row, this shade, this is called Louis and this is more orange and less red but it's also like a shimmer slash satin finish. 
Again, the pigment is really, really nice. I like it quite a fair bit. It's really pretty for like a pop of colour on your lids as well if you are too scared to go too orange or too red for your eyeshadow. Next is the shade Butter Cake. This is one of my favourite shades. It's a very pale, like pale gold colour. It's not really, it's not really much of a gold gold colour. Look at how pretty that is! As compared to the previous two, this one is a little bit streaky. It's kind of like patchy. I don't know whether it's my arm hair or what, but the other two shimmer shades swatch much better than this shade, Butter Cake. But it's still pretty, it's still pigmented and um, yeah, it's actually wearable and usable. Next up is the shade Spoiled and it's a matte red shade. Out of the whole palette, this has to be my favourite shade because I think that it's really unique and it's like a red shade but it's not the kind of red that will make you look like you cannot punch that kind, you know? And the colour is so pretty. See? Look at that! It's so pretty! Next, we have the shade GNO which is a matte... Um, I would say it's a terracotta red tone brown kind of shade but it's not super dark. It kind of reminds me of Coco Bear a little bit from Makeup Geek. And again, this is also a matte shade. Look at that. This is how it looks like. And you have to bear in mind that I paid only 16 USD for this and it if I want to convert it, it's about $20-ish. I'm just giving give or take. I will put the prices around the area for you guys to see like the approximate conversion. And for 20 SGD, I think this is a very wearable and um, like worth it palette to have. The next shade we have is called Mischief and it's this shade right here. It's on the last row and it's a bright yellow colour. For me, I don't use yellow colours but having this palette actually makes me feel like I should try um, incorporating yellow shades into my eyeshadow looks. So this is the yellow. It doesn't really show up on like as well on my skin because it's... Yeah, because I'm tan, you know. Next is the shade Note to Self and this is a very nice transition shade. It's the perfect medium brown shade to put on your crease first before you go in with the other colours. and. I use this shade all the time whenever I'm using this palette to buff into my crease and basically use it as a transition shade. And the last shimmer shade is called Chauffeur and this is a beautiful yellow gold. I never thought I would put gold on my eyelids but it's actually very very nice once you blend it out. Again, just like the other shimmer shades, this is super pretty. It's very reflective and when the sun or the light hits it, it's just very pretty. And the last shade is the darkest shade in the palette and this is the shade French Kiss. On the pan, it looks like it has some sort of like a plummy red kind of plummy brown kind of colour. But when you swatch it on my fi- uh, when you swatch it with your finger, it's like a French press, like coffee. It has a very dark chocolate coffee kind of um, colour, which is this one, um, French Kiss. I'm just going to touch on the No Filter Concealer really really quickly. The Colourpop No Filter Concealer retails for 6 USD so that goes about to 10 Singapore dollars and I bought 3 shades. I bought the shade Light 20, Light Neutral 15 and Medium 30 and I just kind of like tikam tikam decided which shade is my shade but right now I'm actually using like 20 and if I'm not wrong there are 15 shades of concealers but a lot of them are currently out of stock so do follow Colourpop on their Instagram because they inform you when they are restocking and that's how I got my Yes Please palette as well because I really seriously I stayed up until like 1am and um, checked out ASAP so that I could get my palette. My recommendation is if you are interested to purchase these items like the filter concealer and the I mean the no filter concealer and the Yes Please palette you should do that lah. I mean there's no choice because it goes out of stock pretty quickly. Generally I'm really impressed with this concealer because it's affordable, it has a very good formula, it's very creamy and you don't need so much of it because it is very pigmented. 
Blendability wise, I think that for me, I prefer to blend it in with a brush because somehow I feel that using a sponge, it just creates like the stems on the sponge, stems of the sponge on my face and I don't really like it. And the applicator itself, it's a very nice flat doe foot applicator and it makes it very easy for you to swipe and apply the um, product on wherever you need to apply it. Currently, I'm using Light 20 under my eyes and around some blemishes. If you're looking for an affordable concealer, I highly recommend the no filter concealers. I know it can be quite annoying to, you know, wait and stay up and um, order but if you do have the, F, um, if you do have the time, it's pretty worth it and it's useful as well and it's affordable. Like the main point is it's affordable and it's really good. So I don't think you will lose out on anything if you purchase this as well. Okay, so now that you are much closer to my face, I'm going to be doing a tutorial on this um, using this palette. I'm, trying, I'm going to try to recreate this um, eyeshadow look right here. This is by Ayumi 6532 and if I'm not wrong, she is a Taiwanese beauty YouTuber and this eyeshadow look was really pretty and my colleague wanted me to try it on myself so why not because it's so nice! I've not, um, no, I didn't prime my eyelids but I placed a little bit of the no filter concealer on my eyelids just to give it a base. The first shade I'm going to be using is this one. This is called Full Zip and I'm just going to put that on my brow bone and also on my crease a little bit to set the concealer. Now that that's done, I'm going to take a fluffy brush. I'm going to go into the shade Note to Self right here and I'm going to um, tap it, uh, I'm going to buff it into my crease. I'm going to just do a bit of a close up and show you guys that this does have kickback when you like um, tap your brush inside. As you can see, it blends out so easily. Alright, then from the picture, I think she used the shade Big Cocktails, and which is the orange shade right here. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to use the same brush, kind of wipe it off a little bit and I'm going to pick up that colour and lightly graze the edge of the end of Note to Self like right here. Like can you see this brown here? Yeah, I'm going to graze that shade, um, Big Cocktails um, over there just to give it a little bit more of an orange um, eyeshadow or orange pop of colour. With a smaller brush, this is actually the ColourPop blending brush. Um, I don't really think that it's fluffy enough for a blending brush, at least the one that I got, um, because it's just not fluffy enough. But it's a good brush to pack eye colour or eyeshadow colour. And another thing that I don't like about this brush is that there's no number. Like I don't know what brush I'm using, so I can't even tell you what brush it is. But anyway, that's not the point, okay? Let's just move on. I am going to put um, this shade which is GNO, this shade and I'm just going to start um, building up the colour on my outer V. And then I'm going to rub this um, brush off a little bit and I'm going to take this shade. This is the red shade that I really like and the name of the shade is Spoil. Again, just taking a bit of it because I'm too scared and I'm going to place that on top. Now I'm going to take a slightly tap more tapered brush and I'm going to dip into the shade um, French Kiss which is the dark shade and I'm really just going to take it a little bit at the tip of the brush to buff it into my outer V to build up the colour. Oh look at that pigment! Now comes the fun part. I'm going to take the shade Chauffeur, which is the yellow gold shade, this one. This one right here. And I'm going to wet my brush. And then I'm just going to pick it up with my brush and pat it on the centre of my lids. 
Look, oh my goodness, gorge. I'm gonna take the blending brush and blend everything out. I'm gonna switch to a clean blending brush and I'm going to further blend everything out. I'm going to add in a little bit more of French Kiss on the outer corner because it's not as dark as I want it to be. And then I'm going to take the red shade which is spoiled and I'm going to just add in a little bit of that colour in there. Now taking a pencil brush, this is also from Colourpop and I'm going to take the pale yellow shade which is called butter cake and I'm going to put that in the inner corners of my eye and for the lower lash line I'm just going to replicate whatever I did on top and just transfer it down I'm pretty happy with how that looks so I'm just going to put some eyeliner and mascara and I'll be right back Alright you guys, so I'm done with the eyeshadow look. Please don't mind my horrible work at the inner corner thing. I was really trying hard to replicate her eyeliner. As you can see, she extended it into her inner eye corners and I've never done that before. So today was YOLO night and I think it's kind of a fail. But if I try to remove it, it's going to be worse. So I'm just not going to touch it and I think it's kind of cool-ish. I don't know, let me know what you think. Um, but yeah, this is the look that I came up with that was inspired by Ayumi. Alright you guys, so I'm done with the tutorial and as always, before I wrap up my video, I share with you guys whether or not you should purchase these items and what you can expect and what I think of them. First up, the Colourpop Yes Please palette. I generally have, like out of a 10, I will give this a rating of 8. I really like it. I like the colours in it. They are very easy to wear but at the same time, they have shades in here that make it very easy for you to create something different, a louder colour like yellow and red and it makes me come out of my comfort zone a little bit because um, it just makes me want to try a different eye look instead of going to the cinema normal neutral type of eyeshadow looks and I really like how the pop of yellow and orange brightens up my face if I put it not just on my cheeks or on my face but as well as if I put it as eyeshadow on my eyes the price point is pretty good as well and you get for what you pay for it's a cardboard packaging there's no mirror the pigmentation and the quality of the eyeshadows in this eyeshadow palette are above average they're not lousy but they're not the best eyeshadows I've tried before or swatched before like Makeup Geek. Like I said, for the price point, I think you get what you pay for. You will experience kickback when you like dunk your brush in there. I think that the kickback is nothing so bad, at least that's to me. Even though the eyeshadows have some kickback, the compensation of that will have to be the pigmentation and the blendability of the eyeshadows. In, at the end of the day, it looks good on my eyes, it's easy to use, it's not patchy and the colour transferred from the pen to my eye is true to colour and it just shifts depending on my skin tone. It doesn't like get muddy or anything. Another thing I have to say though is that if you own the Urban Decay Naked Heat Palette, I don't think that it is necessary for you to purchase this palette. Reason being, the shades and the tones of this palette is very similar to that of the Naked Heat palette. The only difference to me is that they have more yellows in the Colourpop palette as compared to the Naked Heat palette. So, um, but I mean, you can get both if you want because I recommend them both equally. However, if you, you know, it's something that you can pass if you have the Naked Heat palette and you can actually just go and buy single yellow slash gold eyeshadows and, you know, if you want to create something like this, you can go in this free. <laughs> So yeah, that's all I have to say about this palette. Overall, I enjoy using it, I enjoy the colours in it, and yeah, I actually recommend it. I need to say this pun, okay? I just, so please humour me. I am very pleased, huh, huh, please? I am very pleased with the Colourpop Yes Please palette and the Colourpop No Filter Concealer and it's a thumbs up for me and I recommend it to you guys. So that's it for my video today you guys. I hope you enjoyed it and found it helpful. 
Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel for more videos from me. Before I go, I just want to share with you guys two things. The first one being that I do take makeovers. If you need someone to help you apply makeup for an event, you can just drop me a DM on Instagram or on my in my email and hopefully we'll have the time to uh, meet up and I can do your makeup. And the second thing is, I just want to say a big thank you to every one of you guys who have been enjoying, liking and subscribing to my channel. Um, I'm really happy and I'm very glad that all of you have been enjoying my reviews so far and it really just motivates me to create better reviews so that you can make better purchases and better decisions before you purchase some makeup items. And I, yeah, I just wanted to come here and say thank you because a lot of your positive comments have been really, really helpful and yeah, it just makes my day. So thank you guys so much. Again, thank you all so much for watching and I hope to see you guys soon in my next video. Bye!